Hey folks, good morning. How you doing? Hope you're well. Yeah, we are. I'm dressed up in my tent and my uh, sleeping stuff. It was a great night's sleep. So today's day two, two and a half hours of meters of climbing. Estimated ride time is six minutes and 26 seconds. So first off, I'm heading to Trigarren. I'm not sure about places to stop food. I was looking last night quickly. I think I'm going to be stopping first off in oh, 65K. And it's some place called, <laughs> pop it on the screen. She sent Fran Fred come this there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The first job early to make a make my breakfast, and uh, I had some water bottles in the bottom of my sleeping bags. So that's water. I'm gonna boil that. I've actually literally just uh, bought these. Probably gonna bring the yellow, take the yellow with me while camping because it's a tiny little thing. So I want to do some winter stuff that come in useful. And water's water in it. I'm sure it tastes exactly the same whether it's just come out of a water water bottle or the tap. While the gas is on, I'll quickly show you around the tent. My insulation roll arrived. So it's this padded stuff, covers the base of, uh, I'd say, most of the tent. And it just goes, sits underneath your uh, a sleeping mat, a sleeping bag, and just helps keep you warm, keeps you off the ground. And this, it, although it's not been cold, it's really hard to judge. It does feel quite comfy and soft underneath. So the only problem is, even if I, think, even if I cut it down to size a little bit more, it's still been quite difficult to carry on the bike, so I don't know how I'm going to do that one. I'll work it out. Just left the campsite. Of course, I'm going uphill, straight away. <laughs> it's about a thousand metres climbing less than yesterday. It's more or less 60 kilometres shorter, which equates to two and a half, three hours less to ride. Going up the first uh, mountain road of the day. And I can call it that because the time says so. I'm just going to get to the top, stop. I don't want to tell you about my wardrobe for this uh, holiday. 16%. There's no sign at the bottom to show me going up. Oh. Anyway, my wardrobe. Yeah, I packed away thinking, oh, right, it's November. Let's bring some November weather clothes. <laughs> so the jersey I was wearing yesterday, the raffle one, the green one, it's the only jersey it brought with me. So I went for the full sleeve one. I thought, should I wear a merino wool full sleeve? I don't know. So I went with this, of course, I'm, I'm boiling now. <laughs> you know, I was thinking to myself, oh, okay, this doesn't look like the sun's gonna come out today. So that'll probably keep me a kind of borderline, but it's, it's not. <laughs> it's gonna be a sweaty, sweaty old day, I think. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, TCR coming up next summer. You're probably going to see me, if you do watch that, you're going to see me wearing the same jersey day in, day out. So day in, day out. So why should I be that bothered about you see me today wearing a couple of another raffle top? That's the thing about being on camera all the time. It's like, oh, what to wear, what to wear. I can't wear that jersey I had yesterday because I think I'm a scruff. But I think I'm probably going to wear it again on, on a Thursday if it's, if any, where there's anything like this. <laughs> anyway, as far as the boots concerned, I just, Went on value GPS, went did a little, oh that looks picturesque. I didn't sit down and go, oh, that's a 16%, that's a 14%, that's a 10%, oh, that's a top 10 UK climb. Who knows what's got in store? Either way, the idea today really is just to finish it, do the distance, get home before dark, uh, have a good time. You're probably thinking to yourself after what I just said, you have to be a lot more prepared when TCR comes along. Yes, it's very true. I mean, the last couple of years, I was training. I've been just going out there riding my bike, and obviously, I'm just doing random stuff, and you know, just trying to overcome things and expect, you know, expecting the unexpected kind of thing. Like, uh, I don't know, like an experience of things that can go wrong, like doing a 700 kilometer to DIY old axe and the seat, clo seat clamp fr freezing up and dropping down, or, well not freezing up, but dropping down all the time and con contending with things like coming to Wales and not having a big enough cassette, stuff like that. <laughs> Obviously when TCR comes along I'm going to be super organised, super checking the route and things like that. With this it's just about experiencing stuff and coming out to places and you know riding in remote locations like this and just deal dealing with crap that can go wrong. That explains why I've been doing wild camping and camping and things. You know, multi-day stuff, going away, 
carrying so heavy loads on the bike lots of stuff that you don't really need with you just to act as a training load so to speak we're doing lots of that like today got to you know some food stuffs in the bag yesterday which they're just like emergency stuff like a gel there's a few cereal bars in there and there I didn't eat any of those yesterday and off to my left beautiful waterfall running down the mountainside there I don't know if you can see very well I'm pointing it in the right direction that's the hill with the road I've just been up <laughs> and that's this one that's what I'm on now I hope you can see this because I've just stopped on a steep descent just look at that wow wiggly windy road all the way down number 12k this <laughs> beautiful hello Yeah, coming back to route finding if I'd known it was this deep would I have done it? would I have chickened out and changed my mind? or was this? I just thrown it down and gone yep yeah, that looks that's the right numbers go and ride it what on earth have I got myself lined up for? look at that Jesus Christ. Fern trees? I don't know, I'm gonna call them Christmas trees. All the way around me, look at all this lot. But look at that. That's the hill I've just come up. 25%. Wow. That was the toughie. Hopefully that was the toughest climb of today because I nearly gave up. <laughs> I uh, grit my teeth and kept on going. I think that is what they call a tabletop mountain. That's what you call a forest. Look at that. Oh, there was the finish line. I should have kept going a little bit more. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Some tricky bends. And I'm not the best person on bends. <laughs> oh wow, what a beautiful place this is. Absolutely stunning. 25% down the other side as well. Um and hairpins and everything. And I just <laughs> lent my knee against the rim of the front wheel and it's on fire. <laughs> Wow, this is unreal. This is an amazing reward for climbing a 25% climb. Wow. I really am blessed with the web harder. Wow, it just keeps on going. Look at that. I don't know how well you can see the road in the middle of the picture, but it's just brilliant.
tell you what, I'm actually gobsmacked. Oh, I'm really pleased to be able to share this view with you. Let's get me in the picture. <laughs> wow. So the mountain goats up there. The river just flowed right through there. The sheep just joined himself in the sunshine. I've died and gone to heaven. What an amazing place this is. And that view behind me is just unreal. <laughs> Everywhere I look, nature is in its. Oh, God, I can't think of the words. It's hard to find words for that. This is absolutely amazing. Just wanted to prove it's not all B roads and single track. It's the A470. I guess a uh, main trunk road, this is part of uh, Mid Wales. As you can see, not terribly busy. But uh, not very picturesque on camera, so that's generally why I miss them out. How good is that? Greg's. <laughs> oh, just have a sausage roll. I've got pepperoni pizza. And I'll show you a donut I've got. I've not got four donuts like Dave did. Did you see his ride recently? Dave Noakes. I'll stick his uh, channel in the corner here. A packet of four donuts. I've just gone for one, a bit more sensible. Mm. Oh my god, look at that for a donut. It's the sugar strand. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Right, I'll eat this and get moving again. So I'm going to be following the trail all the way around here, like that, following the river. Following the reservoir, Confer Cow Do. <laughs> All the way up to the kind of the top and join back on the road again. It's so calm today and it shows on camera. Isn't that beautiful? I wonder what the journey back's like, and 60k to go, hopefully nothing too mountainous. There's definitely a pass to go through, but hopefully it's not like the last one. You know, the mountain pass, this one so far has been much easier. But check out that landscape there, look at that absolutely stunning scenery if you want to ever come to Wales I encourage you to do so just make sure you got your practice in your hill climbs or e-bike that'll do however you want to explore it and how to go decided to change the route a little bit I was gonna go up the Devil's Bridge but um, I think I need to index my gears kind of all over the place I was going through a gate here long along the psychopath and the gate closed and hit the derailleur so I think it's knocked things off a little bit I'm not entirely sure how to index I know that sounds really something uh, an amateur should be to work out but I've always left it to mechanic but actually while I'm talking about mechanics and stuff TCR 
um, I need to know lots about lots of great fixes and stuff like that just like indexing gears end of December and we're heading back to mums and dads and I've spoken to uh, another local mechanic in that area and he's gonna help me out his name's John Johnny Stobert he uh, you may have seen him you might remember him on the ride here this year when we rode to London four of us did that and Johnny was one of them anyway he's gonna help me out learn how to be a bit more you know how to use my hands when fixing things and let's think think about using that career as a test subject something to you know tear the pieces and rebuild because I really need to up my game when it comes to basic mechanics so yeah I need to remind him actually because we're at November now <laughs> about 11k to go now 11 12k starting to get pretty dark it's a uh, 6k or well, actually five and a half k to to Trigaron and from there it's about another 6k to uh, the campsite which is all uphill after Trigaron so of course it is it's a campsite it's a big it's a Ricky Lake picked campsite of course it's uphill at the end always happens to me <laughs> uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this one hopefully I've got plenty of uh, B roll of all the countryside but in this case it's probably A roll really isn't it Cause it's, it's A class it's A class scenery the end of this ride has come at the right time actually I'm starting to feel a bit hungry now that's 40k to go I'm just uh, been planning in my head what I'm going to be having to eat so I've got some Uncle Ben's rice two minutes in the pan I've also got some chicken curry so I'm going to shut it all in together that's my tea really and the dessert got a small tin of uh, mandarins so that's my tea really lots of processed food yeah I'm sure you agree it's not a particularly good idea yeah, so I'm going to have some hunger pains coming on soon, I think. Just take it easy on these final hills. Look forward to a good coffee as well. Well, Nescafe. <laughs> Don't know why as well, but one's without sugar. And it's not the same at all, it's awful. About to reach the magic 2000 metre mark. So that means it's been a good job there we go 2000 really pleased with today's performance it wasn't about speed today it was just about seeing some amazing scenery do some great hills not so much about distance don't really know what i'm gonna be doing tomorrow because the weather's look, looking that, that great early on got this problem with my gears at the moment so i need to fix that this evening i'll probably go on ride with gps and do an alternative route Let's see what happens the rain's supposed to stop about midday but I need to check the broader picture really not just the local weather that's enough for me take care I'll see you in day three of my mini tour of Wales see you later bye bye